It's time to learn all about the Trench Raider, Battlefield 1's brand new elite class coming in the They Shall Not Pass DLC. This class takes on the role embodied by French soldiers in their relentless fight to hold ground against the ruthless and efficient German army on the Western Front during World War I. The Trench Raider is a melee elite class. His primary weapon is the Raider Club, and he is the only soldier on the battlefield that has access to it. He carries a number three revolver as a backup, should he need it for something a little bit more long range, and strapped to his waist are three full frag grenades, used as an initial attack before swooping in and bludgeoning his target's head in. He also carries around a med kit, and that makes him highly mobile and extremely powerful as a healing station. And finally, he has some replenishing smoke grenades as well, either to be used to cover his own escape or to provide some soft cover for his team and squad mates. To equip the Trench Raider, much like the other elite classes in Battlefield 1, you'll need to locate the kit on four of the brand new maps coming in this DLC. Now some of them are easier to find than others, and in different game modes they will spawn in different locations. But what you're looking for is a crate very similar to what the Flame Trooper, the Sentry and the Tank Hunter spawn in. This time the crate is a little bit smaller however. Run over, hammer the button in pure excitement and set to work terrorising the enemy team. But how can you use him most effectively? Well, of course that Raider Club is going to come in handy. It's especially useful in surprise attacks. If you chuck down some smoke grenades, maybe advance with a couple of frag grenades as well, flush those enemies out and you can take them down in a single swipe with the Raider Club. There's no messing about trying to get some animation with your normal standard melee weapons, no. Here on the Trench Raider Elite class, that Raider Club is going to kill somebody in one strike. He doesn't come without his limitations, however, and it's key to remember what these are if you want to succeed. As you can expect, he's not the greatest ranged attacker. He's got a melee weapon as his primary, and you're severely limited to the areas in which you can be most effective. Sure, you can take those players down with one shot, but what's your plan of action when there is more than one enemy in front of you? What do you do then? You're just as vulnerable to a normal soldier, to an incoming bayonet charge, or a melee takedown. So prioritize those targets and use grenades to weaken them before approaching with that Raider Club. Multiple players directing fire at you will result in a quick demise as well. Your armor is thick, but it can be broken with a bit of coordination from an enemy fire team. If you are taking damage, try and get yourself into cover, drop that med kit, and you'll be back up to 100 health in no time. The Trench Raider fits in perfectly with the four new maps coming with this DLC. All of them have got some solid infantry areas on them, and you can inflict some heavy damage with this guy there. Try him out on Fort DeVoe. Trust me, it's an experience. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider coming over to my channel and checking out some of my other content. That's youtube.com forward slash Westy, and maybe if you're feeling really nice today, you'll drop a subscription as well. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.